cute! What can I say? Well, I can say that it's, can, you can see my nipples. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to blur that out somehow. Um, oh, I know, I know what we can do. This will be easier. Feel, feel the perks of having long hair. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing another haul video and this time it is one that you requested because I asked you on YouTube and Instagram what kind of haul videos you'd like to see next and you gave me everything. Topshop, Urban Outfitters, ASOS, all these different ones and you know, I couldn't make my mind up. I was like, ah, I wanna do all of them and that's what I've decided. I want to do everything. So expect lots more hauls on this channel and I'm also gonna be doing designer hauls, so stay tuned for that. And if you don't wanna miss any, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm kind of starting my spring wardrobe from scratch because I did a huge clear out of things that I realized I don't really wear anymore. And that's where you guys come into play because I am gonna need your help because I'm doing these hauls, but I wanna keep everything. So I need to be selective and I need to be cutthroat about these things. So I need you guys to tell me if it looks you know what I'm saying? I really appreciate all this feedback, the good, the bad, the ugly, just give it to me. <laughs> it all helps me out with the algorithm too, which is always a bonus, right? If you are interested to know what pieces I've kept from my hauls, um, or just generally how I style up my outfits, then please do check out my Instagram, I'll link it here. All the items that I mentioned in today's video are going to be linked in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. So this is the Contrast Stitch Duster Coat in Rust, and this actually reminds me so much of the green Duster Coat that I have that I've been wearing so much that Topshop kindly gifted me. I featured that in my video uh, when I moved into my apartment, I'll link it here. So when I was in the shop and I saw this trench coat, I was like, I need this. I loved the burnt orange color with the white contrast stitching and I just knew that this would be so versatile and it could be worn with so different things in my wardrobe. And it's the ideal spring coat because it's not heavy, it's not thick, it's not something that's just gonna weigh you down and you're gonna feel hot and bothered. It has a fabric covered buckle. You can obviously do it like that or you can leave it open and tie it around the back, show off the front more and have it like that with a nice crop or any choice of top you want. You could even kind of like wear it off the shoulders a little bit if you want a more relaxed vibe. It's not lined, but I don't mind that. I think that keeps it kind of effortless, kind of relaxed, more laid back. I think it looks really expensive. Like it looks like it could be Celine. Um, the stitching, the finish, it's really good. It's just so easy to throw on when you're running out the door and you just want something light. This color works really well with different denims, dark or light, and it's 100% polyester. It just feels really nice, to be honest. Um, it is a size eight, because I didn't have any size tens. Usually I go for like a slightly oversized coat, but this actually fits really well because it's oversized anyway, so the fit was really good. I wore this with the Topshop straight legged jeans, high rise. I paired them with my blue Saint Laurent pumps. And the top I'm wearing is Kushni Airchox. I think it gives a really polished and modern look to your outfit when you throw this on. Nearly forgot to show you the earrings I'm wearing, which are also from Topshop, and I really love the blue. It's a great contrasting color. I saw a similar pair, like they were gold and black with black tassels, and I thought, oh, the black will go with lots of things. But then I also thought, you know, it's gonna blend in with my hair and it's not gonna stand out, whereas I think a blue really stands out. It grabs attention, contrasts with the colors I've got going on here. I think they're really cute. They just really kind of bring the whole outfit together, I think. And tassel earrings are very much in at the moment, and I am jumping on that trend. <laughs> Next up is this beautiful ultra-feminine top, uh, which I think is a key piece for the spring slash summer, and honestly, <laughs> Took some confidence to rock this one out. I was looking at the shop and I was like, no chance, no chance. Look how short that is. I can't show my midriff. I'm, you know, pushing on to my late 20s now. <laughs> I can't get away with that shit. And then I was like, you know what? You could work with a high-waisted jean, high-waisted skirt. Cover up this problem area, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we can get away with 
it, I think, Emma. But I tell you, the main reason why I got this top is that I swear they have exactly the same in Zimmerman. <laughs> Look at the detailing. Like the pattern, the frills, the bow, everything for me about this top is like Zimmerman. Only a fraction of the price. You don't need to spend your payday on a Zimmerman top when you can get it from Topshop. You can wear it right through to summer. You know, this isn't a top just for spring, guys. I've got you covered for summer too. It's so beautiful. I love the neckline. I love the way it comes right down here. It's really soft material. It's a cotton. I felt a little bit too naked in this. You know, you could definitely throw a jacket over it and I'm gonna show you. Hello, mamacita. Just taking this look to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? By the way, the shades are Topshop too. The jacket is Elliot in a small. You know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I probably want to wear a jacket over at the top of it. Something like this, I think, is really cool and casual. I think this is a look. This is the kind of top that gets me excited for the summer. Oh, yes. And by the way, it's my birthday in June. Don't forget it. Then we have this striped button-down camisole, which I think is really pretty. When I came across this one in Topshop, I was like, in the bag. I didn't even need to think about it. I just felt like this was a no-brainer. It's the perfect little spring top. You know, I feel like I'd go for a picnic in this. <laughs> I love the fit here. It's slightly fitted around the bust, but then it kind of goes out a little bit. The style of the top is kept really kind of cool with the button down, and I love this button-down feature. This one is a UK 10, and I felt like I wanted a UK 10 just because I didn't want it to be too tight around the bust. I feel like it goes really well with this light pair of denim jeans, which I'm about to show you next. Straight legged jeans are making a comeback. They're having a major fashion moment. And I absolutely love these ones, especially the raw hem here. Um, I specifically wanted raw hem because I just think it looks a little bit more undone, a little bit cooler. These were a waist 28 and a leg 32. Leg 32, I think, is perfect for me because if I go for a 34, it's a little bit too long. It doesn't look like a crop. And I want it to look like a crop so that I can show off my boots and my shoes and I want that look. The boots are from Givenchy and I do believe I featured them in my designer shoe collection video. Seeing these denim jeans a lot more in future videos as I just find them so comfortable and so easy to throw on and I really love the cut. Next we have this bleach denim bralette with some very glamorous crystals. I found this top as I was leaving the store and it just caught my eye and I was like, oh, I don't want to leave the shop without it because it's so cute and whilst it's not something I feel like I could just like, hey, I'm going to go out today like this, I think in London this time with the weather, I'd need to wear like a white t-shirt underneath and I'm going to show you what that looks like on. But I definitely think in the summer or like end of spring, music festivals, Coachella, this is like a key piece for a music festival or something like that. And I really like it with a denim jacket, I'd probably like wear one off the shoulder. This actually comes with a pair of matching shorts which look, they're kind of like a loose fit with frayed edge, really awesome. I like the two-piece set, but I only saw that online, I didn't see it in the store. I'm just wearing my high-waisted jeans with this at the moment. I think it's really cute with the t-shirt underneath as a layering piece. Much more casual, a lot more daytime friendly when walking around London. This, by the way, is from Mark by Marc Jacobs. It's the Marc Jacobs Diffusion line and it says our future. Also to mention is this top I'm wearing right now, which is one of my favorites from the haul, and it is a lace long sleeve top with puffed sleeves and a shirred body. It is 98% polyester and 2% elastane, so it's quite stretchy, very comfortable. I'm not wearing a bra, I don't need a bra, it's perfect. It like clings to you in all the right places, I mean, I think that's really beautiful. I love this square neckline. It is so flattering because it cuts right across the chest and then shows off your clavicle. You can really go ham with the highlighter here. <laughs> I haven't yet, but I intend to. This could go well with jeans. It could go well with a skirt. I wanted to mix it up and not show you again with the same pair of jeans, so I put on a denim skirt. This one is actually featured in one of my other hauls from Topshop. Um, I'll put a playlist here of all my haul videos so you can check it out. The back is so nice. I feel like it's very Marie Antoinette with puffed sleeves. So I'm wearing my Valentino boots. I've not got a really high heel, so this outfit is definitely something I would wear during the daytime. 
going to a meeting or catching up with girlfriends. It's like a really perfect little date outfit, I think. The weather is often unpredictable in London and you never want to be caught out by the weather. I would just probably throw this coat on. This one is from Bardot in UK 8 and it's perfect because it's really light and I can just throw this on and obviously with a short denim skirt you might feel like you want something a little bit longer to make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable. It's a casual piece but it just gives that extra layer and it kind of finishes off the outfit I think. Next up is the gorgeous mint lace bodysuit. This one is called Nadia. So this is the bodysuit from House of CB that I got in Topshop. So it's not Topshop, it's House of CB, but sold in Topshop. <laughs> it's got a cut bra, it's adjustable bra straps as well, and adjustable strap on the back. So you can really get a great fit for yourself. It's a thong back as well, which I think is much more comfortable and looks better in jeans doesn't show the line. It's made of lace, a mesh, it's quite elasticated as well so it really hugs and clings in the right places and I definitely love to wear this as the outerwear with either a pencil skirt or a pair of jeans or high-rise pants. Um, there's so many different ways to wear and style this and I just think it's really sexy. It has like this huge keyhole back. It's that special piece that you keep in your wardrobe for a very special night out. You know what I'm saying? Where you really want to make the best impression possible. When you have that super hot date and you're like, it's coming out! I'm bringing the bodysuit out tonight! I can't tell you how much I love this. Like, I think it's absolutely beautiful. It fits like a glove. This is a small. And when I say a glove, like, it fits tight. Like, they had it in a white and a black and a red. And all of them sold out in Topshop. Because I remember going in and asking them if they had any more of the red because I wanted it for Valentine's. But they were like, no, so it was sold out. So I'm like, and then I saw it come in mint green. I'm like, it's my lucky day. <laughs> what I would probably wear with it is this. Hold on. Is this jacket. Now, this jacket is from Irfe. It reminds me of a Balmain blazer just because of the shoulder pads and the kind of structure of it. It has a little fastening here. So if you felt a bit too exposed in the bodysuit, I get you because it is very revealing. Um, then you could just show a little bit like this and I think that looks really, really sophisticated. This is another bodysuit! I've been eyeing this bodysuit up for quite a while. I saw it on the website. I'm actually following House of CB on Instagram. It's one of the few brands that I actually follow. This one is called the Ava bodysuit. It's nude, it's like it's sheer. So you have to be a little bit daring to wear it but you know, on the right occasion. It's made of a nude stretch power mesh, um, which gives it a really great fit. This actually is a large and it is a little bit too big for me. The reason was is that it was the last one left and I said I'll just take it. Um, it's quite stretchy though, so I feel like I can get away with it. I really love the piping down here. I think it's really cool. Kind of reminds me of Balmain a little bit. I've got this beautiful scooped neckline. It's a thong on the back, so it's really comfortable. So this is the House of CB Larsa skirt, and it is a knee-length cut. Um, it's got a knit waist, so it really cinches you in at the waist. It's got a stretch crepe fabric, so it hugs to your curves. And this gorgeous thigh-high split, I think, gives it a really sexy look. It's sophisticated but sexy at the same time. I'm wearing some Louboutin heels with this, just some simple black ones. It's a small and it fits perfectly, it's a, like a glove on me actually. I love this white piping contrasting detailing here and I just think it would go with so many things being high-waisted. This is definitely a great choice for that special evening out. So this is with a white jacket, um, obviously the white picks up the detailing here in the skirt but it also works really well with a black leather jacket. Honestly, this black leather jacket with this outfit was a good shout because the outfit before the leather jacket was looking sophisticated but a little formal, I think. This jacket is by Valentino um, and I love it. It's so soft and just throw it on and it automatically makes the look so much more cool. Then we have these white legged flared pants from House of CB. Now I tried looking on the website, they don't have these anymore. They were actually gifted to me by House of CB a little while ago. I am gonna remove these very annoying tags from the back. 
felt so satisfying. These are a medium size. They fit really well. I just haven't got around to wearing them yet. But now we're in spring, I can wear them. Again, high rise really useful for me when I'm wearing my crop tops <laughs> and my bodysuits and that sort of thing. They're slightly stretchy so they really cling to you, they give a gorgeous silhouette and they have the zip on the back so it's a really snug fit. I'm wearing my little white and black Givenchy sandals with these. I was just wondering which do you prefer, the white pants or the black skirt with it? Let me know in the comments, I'm interested to hear. That is it for today's haul video! Let me know what you think. Did you like some bits? Did you not like some bits? Just tell me, the good, the bad, the ugly. Write it down in the comments. You know, it'll help me out. It'll also help me out for the algorithm, which was a bonus, you know? Oh, wait, shout out to Eva McMahon, Eva Glamzer, who actually is an amazing blogger and YouTuber. Something I wanna do regularly on my channel is a shout out to my die hard notification squad. Guys, I'm with you. Thank you. You guys give me life. And I just wanted to do a little shout out each week to someone at random who has hit that notification bell and who's left a comment on my latest Instagram post with hashtag notification squad. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.